Looks to be a stabbing. Any witnesses? Yeah. Carrie Wells. She was a cop. Highest clearance rate in the history of the Syracuse Police Department. Syracuse PD, that's your old haunt now, isn't it? She's got a great memory. It's a medical thing. Well, on the surface, it's just a cop show, and we have so many cop shows on TV, but this one, I think, will be a little different for a few reasons. The lead character has this ability, you know, to remember everything from every day of her life. And I was curious to see how the show would depict that, how you would use it as a device, and her walking into her own memory is pretty cool. What I liked most about this, though, was this character was so different from Sean McNamara on Nip Tuck. I really was looking for something in law enforcement. That sounds silly, but I was looking for a, kind of a guy who would carry himself differently, kind of a man's man who thought differently, felt differently. What you're doing is you're bringing your past, your pain to the table, and if you remember, that's exactly what messes you up. Go to hell. What I like is they do need each other. Um, on her own, this having this ability can can could get her in as much trouble as it as it could help. And I think it's how to use it. And I think Al Burns is good at knowing how to use it. I trusted you before, and you gave up. You left me, by the way. That's right, because I'm an obsessive cataloger of people's faults. I never said that. August fourteenth, two thousand two, two thirty six a.m. Hot night, no rain. There were crickets. He's also the only one who understands what kind of a burden it is for her. And uh, he knows about her past, about her sister. He also has his own past with her. And I like that the show, like I said, it's procedural, but it's loaded with other personal details. That, so there's a tension there anyway. Before you've even gotten to the homicide of the week, there's something else going on, which I like.